and welcome to this week's episode of MT Squared, Minerva's Two Minute Tactics for Your Procurement, uh, which this week comes to you from sunny, amazing Stoke. It's beautiful here today. Um, so I wanted to talk to you um, this week about scarcity. Um, so we hear about scarcity of commodities. So we talk about where maybe um, there's a scarcity of, of cereal or coffee, or worse still, I once heard there was a shortage of Prosecco, which obviously sent me racing to Tesco's to stock up. Um, but we're not talking about commodities here. We're talking about suppliers. There can be scarcity of suppliers, depending on what it is that you're trying to procure. So some good examples that we've come across recently where we've had difficulty getting a sort of a, a, a core of suppliers to bid um, would be um, cleaning. So cleaning can be um, perhaps based on the area that you're in. If you're out in the middle of nowhere um, and maybe cleaning suppliers are worried about um, how they're going to recruit people, how they're going to get people to your site. Um, similarly, if you're in an area where there's low unemployment, um, again, they might be concerned about how they're going to get the cleaning operatives. So it might be an issue. You may find you don't get as many bidders as you would like. Another area we see it a lot is grounds maintenance. Um, there just aren't that many good grounds maintenance companies out there, and those that are are very, very fully utilised. And again, there's a labour issue there. So if you're in an area where they're struggling to recruit um, you know, grounds maintenance operatives, that could be a problem. Um, and the other area we've seen recently is pupil transport, so coach companies. If you think about it logically, unless you're in a really built-up area like London, Manchester and so on, you know, there aren't that many coach companies out there. So it's distinctly possible that you could put a contract out for tender and find that actually you've only got a couple of bidders. So the way to get over that, just make sure that you really engage with a number of suppliers that you might be interested in um, actually quoting for your contract. Make sure that they fully understand the value of it, the size of the prize if you like, and really get them engaged in the process. Hopefully then you'll get at least sort of half a dozen interested, of which you know, then as a minimum, you should get your three bids that you need. So hope that's useful for this week. Until next time, soldier on.